We were on our way to see, uh, what's it called? Don't what's the name you called it before? Don't yeah. Oh, it's called Don't Breathe. Yeah, it's called Don't Breathe. You better go see it. We're very excited. I ain't gonna get hit, damn it. <laughs> Come on, man. See, we're going to see Don't, Don't Breathe. By the blind man. Why did she see it? All right. Anyway, we are gonna come back and let you know what this thing. This shit's supposed to be the bomb. All right, I'm back. Just got done watching. Don't breathe. A highly anticipated movie. At least I seen the previews for this like four or five months ago, and I'm like, oh shit, don't breathe. Don't breathe. Oh, this gonna be the shit. And yes, here's my review. Alright, first off, if you've seen the uh, previews before, you probably know what it's about. These kids break into this dude's house who's an older blind dude, right? They break into his house because they're trying to rob him of some serious money, right? So, that's basically what it's about. That's what the trailer about. These kids break into this dude's house and basically get stuck in there because this ain't no ordinary blind motherfucker, right? This dude ain't no joke, alright? So, that right there, seeing that in the trailer, I'm like, oh shit like oh this can be something right so anyway that's what the movie is about so with that being said um what do i think about the acting in the movie i always talk about that but it was obviously a, a big time movie it's at the movie theater so the acting was pretty damn good you know um i don't recognize too many of the characters in it like i mean i'm sure they're they're out there but you know they're all kind of new to me um but everybody did good. The guy who played the blind dude, he was, he was, you know, I'm, a, I'm sure he's not blind in real life. So yeah, that's a, uh, 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 he did a damn good job with the character. Uh, like I said, everybody was good, right? Now, fuck all that. The storyline. What do I think about the storyline and the actual storyline in the movie, right? Um, it was okay. You know, it was, it was pretty much what the trailer said. Uh, they tried to throw, you know, a little bit of an angle to it uh, that, you know, you'll notice in the movie, whatever. Um, so the storyline to me was just okay, right? Then you got, you know, we got to talk about it. The ending, right? The ending. To me, wait, before I even say this, you know, um, my cousin, we always talk about movies and stuff. And my cousin had told me that he seen the trailer, one of the previews. Um, leading up to this movie was talking about uh, this is one of the best uh, endings since Saw. Since Saw. The movie Saw. If you're watching this, depending on who you are, if you never heard of the movie Saw, watch that shit. And if you've seen Saw, you know, you know Saw ain't no joke. Saw came out in like early 2000s, right? Saw, the movie Saw is a bad motherfucker. You understand? Saw is right so when i thought the trailers was cool for don't breathe but then when they added that little uh yeah this is the best ending since saw or best movie since saw and i'm like oh shit well i was going to see it but i'm definitely going to see it here's the problem with that here's the problem this ending to me which is a movie junkie i'm like it really wasn't all that you know what i'm saying like especially comparing that shit to saw a classic right uh nah the ending was just to me the ending was just an ending and like the the big twist it was supposed to be this twist and shit like i didn't really get it like the twist was like uh i ain't gonna ruin it for those who didn't see it. i don't like ruining that shit but i mean i uh, it wasn't all that to me crazy to be like oh shit it do not make you be like damn or, oh ooh. like nah ain't none of that um it did have a lot of action in the movie i give it that you know um it you know it's cool to me like i said it would have been better if, first of all if you don't compare that shit to saw um and i think it had it could have been a lot better i think you know but i will give it the storyline was okay um you know, uh, and, and, the, and the, um, oh, I said the acting was cool and everything, but overall, man, I got to give this one, and I'm being very nice, uh, I'm gonna give it a three out of five, and I'm, I'm barely a three out of five, because the hype behind this movie 
you know, I, th I think this is one of the ones that didn't live up to the hype. Like I said, Conjuring 2, you know, with all the, the previews were scary and shit. And the Conjuring 2 lived up to the hype. Like, Lights Out, to me, did not live up to the hype. This, Don't Breathe, to me, didn't live up to the hype. But it's still definitely something to check out. Would I go to the movies again to see it? No. But, I mean, shit, it make a nice-ass rental you know, something like that, if you got damn, uh, any of them movie channel things or whatever, it's cool to watch, but, uh, three out of five, and that's being nice, uh, that's my opinion on Don't Breathe, did you see it, and if you did see it, what did you think? Yo, I tried to tell him I was cold. Yeah. I call it the Arctic uh, Dog. Automatic rapping when I spit shit, I just lose control. But they don't wanna see me blow, and they don't wanna see me shine. All the nigga really know is I gotta get mine.